Yo guys, what is up? Fly here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be testing out the new Ta 152C. This is the second Ta we have in game. The first one is the H1 uh, that has, uh, let's see, one 30 millimeter MK108 and two MG151s 20 mils. So this thing has three in total, three guns in total. Uh, I do apologize about my nasalocity. Uh, allergies are still getting to me. Uh, okay, so the Ta 152C. We have 130 mil. MK103 though, so much faster velocity or a higher velocity round. Uh, we have 90 rounds of that, but we have four 20 mils, 420 Blazer Pro. MG151, 650 rounds. So what this means is that it's easier to kill planes, but with the addition of, what is it, uh, three, two extra cannons, it's going to add a lot of weight to the plane. And this is why I really wasn't that excited for the TA uh, 152C, because at high tiers, you guys know that performance is everything. Uh, I, would, I would think many of you guys would take 120 mil with 600 rounds, and your plane to be high performing than taking a slower plane with 420 blaze it. Uh, that would easily get killed. So that's why I really wasn't excited for the TA 152C. Uh, but the thing is, with the uh, MK103s, is that we do have a armored target round. So you can go ground striking in this thing. I bet everyone's going to yell yell at you on your team. But I think how we'll use it today is that we'll climb off to the side. We'll come off, come into the battle as an X-Factor plane, a support plane, and also a bomber hunter. Because right now, this thing... From the tall 152H1 from a 6.39 kilogram burst mass, this one is up 2 kilograms per second. So this thing has a ton of lead down range. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have two tangos sighted in front, at least dots. Looks like one bomber and maybe a fighter over to the right. We're climbing at 20 degrees at 307 kilometers an hour. Not the worst climb rate, but not the best. If we go any higher, we'll probably be under 200 kilometers, or under 300 kilometers an hour, which is, you're not really climbing that fast at all. Our engine will overheat pretty soon as well. Just want to get above at least 4,500 before I start engaging. How do these AIs climb so fast? I mean, like, in real life, you can't spawn. It's impossible. Unless you're watching Star Trek on TV, but that's not IRL. Okay, Tempest left. We're way above him, apparently, which is pretty nice. Keep on climbing. Surprisingly enough, the Ta 152's engine does not overheat that bad on Sicily. It seems like it's keeping the 105 Celsius and 127 Celsius for the water. Now we're gonna come at this guy from the side. Right on level deck so his uh, top gunner can't lock on to us. B-17 spot it. Cool the engine down at 100% because that's all I cool down. Another bomber behind him as well. We gotta be good with these shots, man. A Sterling, what? That thing has the highest BR ever. Right from its side, come on. Let's do this. Let's not be a bitch about it. Below, below. Okay, those did a lot. We're, in, we're disengaging from those 50 cals. We'll go after the Sterling first. Because that thing, those 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 30 cals will do nothing. Okay, the Falk will have just cleaned up the uh, 17, which is nice. We're going to go right behind this guy. I'm not too worried at all. Damn, this thing is sluggish. See? It works much better on the Sterling than the 17. Spitfire's up high. I think now what we'll do is we'll engage the A26 down low. Oh, we still got, looks like, late game fighters here. Okay, we're, we're going to use some of our speed to get back up to about 3,000 meters. A 
Yeah, I think what's going to happen, I'm going to dive down on this A26 if I'm able to, and then I'll head back into the main portion of the map. Because this Tempest, these, these guys are going to hawk soon. On that B-17 shot, I, I, I think we shot a little bit too much on the empennage. But, you know, 30 mils and 20 millimeters on a tail section really might, to me, might do some pretty good damage. Okay, so here we go with the A-26. Let's go ahead and plan our, in, our intercept route. Now, we can't slow down at all because we have a Spitfire coming in from the rear. That is a Spitfire Mark 9. Oh, shit, he's, he's already engaging us. Got him on fire. Keep it flying, keep it flying. Okay, so we got the A26, that's nice. Forgot that thing had so many back gunners or that uh, rotating turret. Our water's too hot right now. Come on. Okay, so we got a Spitfire on us. He was able to... definitely can. <laughs> We're so fucked, guys. I don't know what to do. We gotta wept till we die here. Go, baby, go. Fuck this engine. Okay, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna do an awesome maneuver here. So welcome to Ruhr. Uh I actually just respawned it and changed my air target 30 millimeter ammo to ground target uh, 30 millimeter ammo. And the reason is because we have three ME410s and three Doe 335s. Now I don't know if they have the proper ammo, but I think we're gonna try. We're gonna try to go ground strike because this thing, ugh, this thing can't bite stuff. I mean, maybe we can just go head on with stuff. Yeah. That's, that is the key with the TA 152C. Head on, bomber killing, and ground striking. I think with all those threes mixed together, um, this plane is successful. But right now, my honest opinion, I think the TA 152C is the most pointless fighter addition to the game. Really. I mean, it doesn't really add anything. I mean, you can't outclimb. You really, you can, I don't know. I just don't, I think it was, I think it's wasted time, you know. All right, so we're getting close to these ground targets over here, and we got fucking planes. <laughs> is, this, is this the... No, this should be the good one to go after. All right, yeah, so we're going to go after this column first. We got 29 targets to take out. I think it will take about 230 mils to kill these uh, medium tanks. But we got an ME-410, me, and that's about it going for these guys. I think this guy might be coming in to help, but those t two other ME-410s, one is going, one is climbing for altitude, the other is going for the other side. Okay. Here we go. Where's me luck? Watch me crash into a tree the first strike. That would be pretty horrible. Nice, Oddman. Good shit. He just killed like nine medium tanks right there. Okay, I'll try to go for one. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, one down. Let's see if we can take out two in one pass. Uh oh, nope, they're they're turning towards me.
Okay, Tango down. Please don't ram me. Good stuff, boys. Okay, this side is almost clear. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's, let's chill with that engine temp. We got 17 more targets to go. Okay, Ottoman just got that last one. Let's look on the radar. I don't know where the other targets are on the mini map. Oh, are they just this one column? No, we got some way over here. Yeah, okay, those are. I can't even see them on the mini map. Where are they? Uh oh. There is a Spitfire and an F8F versus a Tempest. Yeah, we're going to go on web here. Look at this Doe 335. He is traveling fast, low altitude. Oh, damn, dude. These guys are real. We're really taking. We got nine more to go. Okay, I'm on attack route. Actually, it looks like a uh, Viking is going in. We'll pull off here. We'll go for the other ones over. Oh, my God. All right, dude. <laughs> okay, Tango down. We got some over here as well. Huh. That is five right here. I don't think these, these ones have to be taken out, though. But I'll do it anyways. Good job, everybody. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh my gosh, this team is about to fucking lose. Okay, we're going to get these things long range out. Two down. One more is over here, I think, somewhere. I think it got destroyed by the ME410. And with that said, we got two more tanks to take out. And this is going to be a GG. I got this shit. Come on, you motherfucker, get it. Yes! Ooh. It's a ground striker! It's a ground striker. Wow. All right, so welcome to beautiful Norway. We're experiencing a Norway sunset with the new lighting effects, and gosh darn, does it look beautiful. Um, so we've tested the bomber hunting capabilities of it, though it doesn't like to go, go up against B-17s. We've tested the... Um, ground strike capabilities now we're going to be trying to test out the head-on capabilities because fuck turning and oh golly okay let's try it out here full power we got a, a f8f in front spitfire up high tempest to our left we're going to engage okay guys we're, we're going to do something crazy right here this will be some top arcade moves oh what's up dude oh wow okay 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 down we go, up we go. Oh! <laughs> How does that shit work in RB? Okay, let's get the hell out of here. We got. Dude, that's how you use the tall 152C. That is exactly how you use it. Okay, we're, we're buggering off here. Oh man. That, that was great. That was. Man. Okay, so we are reclimbing to get into more head-on potential ability shots. Man, I love English sometimes. Uh, I know we got a Spitfire up high. I just want enough altitude that if a Spitfire gets on my six, I'm able to dive away from him, at least for the meantime. Okay, we're going to turn around here. I'm going to call for some backup because I'm a bitch. Okay, Tempest to the left, Spitfire to the right. Pitfire to our right, diving down on the Doe 335. Engine is semi cool. We're gonna whip this baby out. Now we're gonna we're gonna go help uh, this Doe 335 out, because no Spitfire should ever kill a baby Doe. That Spitfire just got sniped over that uh, main base AA right there. Okay, so we're heading close to this Tempest now. There's still a lot of players up, so we got to keep our wits. Spitfire. 
Keep that speed up right there. I think those high those high does see it. Who is right below me? Or right above me? Okay, Spitfire is up there. Holy shit. Okay, here we go. Do not kill my ME-410, man. Holy Tempest diving at supersonic speeds. He's on fire! Alright, let's go steal, steal kill this shit. Pull it off, just kidding. Okay, so now we got a Spitfire up high still. Oh my god, yeah, let's, let's uh, not get killed by this guy. Explosions! Okay, cool off with the engine for a little bit. Aha! I was right! Here is that B-17. He's 15 kilometers away at about 6,000 meters. He's going for our ground, or our uh, bases right here. Let's go ahead and wep this one out. Never mind, let's not wep it out. Our engine's about to overheat entirely. Some more shots from him. Oh yes, good work, though. Well done. Look at that cinematic. Oh my God, it's a War Thunder trailer. That looks scary. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, just with my short play time with the Tall 152C, I think the best strategy to do is to climb up, you know, at about 5,000 meters. Try to get a head-on or two. Um, if that doesn't work, hang on, time out. Before you climb up, take ground ammo on your 30 mils. Um, climb up to about 5,000. Try to get one or two head-ons. If they don't work, dive right back down and go to work on the ground targets because, um, you know, you're not going to last too long at that altitude with that heavy of an aircraft. But, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Until next time, peace out, boys.